Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Tracy. I'm back for another video. And for today, I'm going to share with you my Marc Jacobs tote bag. Yes, this is the large size. I have done videos of the medium and the mini. So if you want to watch it, I'll link it somewhere here. I think somewhere here or here. I can't remember now <laughs> which side, but I'll link those videos on the description box below. And also, I did some uh, YouTube shorts featuring size comparisons of the medium, mini, and the large. So if you want to watch that, I'll link it down below as well. But for today's video, we're going to talk about the large one. Yes, finally, I'm going to make a video of this. I've been getting requests on showing this bag. And finally, I'm here making a video for you guys. Yes baby steps right if you watch my previous video with the Tory Burch unboxing I mentioned about the dark clouds so a little update on that I was able to make an appointment for a facial I was able to make an appointment for a massage I went to my dentist so baby steps aside from work I'm going somewhere else <laughs> I've been going like I've, I've been traveling with my family but I need a little push from my family to go somewhere and enjoy life but yeah update on that we're making progress here hopefully more progress on doing um videos frequently but so enough with those personal updates and we'll talk about this bag But before we start, welcome! I'm Tracy. I do bag unboxing videos, sometimes first impression review videos. And once in a while, I do upload vlog videos. If you happen to like my channel, please consider subscribing. And for all who already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back. And I really appreciate your comments from the, my previous video, like supporting me and giving me a cheer. Like, okay, you can do that, Tracy. Yes! I, I really appreciate that. I appreciate you enjoy my videos. You enjoy watching my vlogs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That really makes my heart happy. So let's proceed with this bag. <laughs> okay, this is a Marc Jacobs tote bag. This is in the large size. I got it in the color beige. I think that time when I was uh, looking for the large uh, tote bag, this is the only color that's not similar to what I already have. Let's talk about like the reason why I bought this bag. I was tra going to travel to Europe and I don't want to bring a an Everfull with me. I said I want to try the Marc Jacobs large tote bag because it has a zipper. So it's more protected. So I ordered this I think from Farfetch and this came this bag came all the way from Japan. I ordered the canvas and the leather because I don't know which one would I like to use for traveling. But in my mind, I would like to use the leather bag for travel. So I have the leather one here. So this is the leather bag. I want the the leather tote bag to be my hand carry. But then I said, what if I don't like the leather one? So I ordered both the leather and the canvas so initially i wanted to use this one so i put all my stuff because i think we were a day or two away from um traveling when these two bags arrived so i put my stuff in here my laptop my my camera my um selfie stick everything i put in here and then it's heavy it is so heavy i said like i cannot bring this bag so I use this. We'll talk about this bag in some other videos but for today because this is the one that I have used the leather one I haven't used it yet so I can have more like story to tell you about this bag. That's the story behind why I bought this bag. I want it for travel purposes which is I am so glad I did that because this is very handy and lightweight. Did I mention this only weighs two pounds yes two pounds i know you've seen a lot of videos about the mark jacobs tote bag but we're still going to do a 360 look on this bag so this is the front this is the side the back other side and that's the bottom 13 inches in height 
17 inches in length, 6 inches in width, and the handle drop is 9 inches. Unlike the medium and the mini tote bags, this you can only carry over your shoulder or like a top handle but no crossbody strap. It would be weird to wear this as a crossbody this big anyway. So yeah, I'm just saying there's no crossbody strap for the large tote bags. This bag has a zipper opening and let's open it up. I like it because when you travel, it's more secure that you can zip up your stuff. Uh, this is the inside of the bag zipper compartment here you can put your full-size wallet your passport when traveling and also there's two slip pockets that can fit a phone so as you can see there's no inner lining there's no other pockets aside from the one that i showed you so i said like how can i use this bag with all my stuff traveling like i have to bring my camera my tripod my laptop so what i did is i used my never full uh organizer so this is from algorithm yeah it came with my pre-loved never full bag gm at first i was trying to let me get it a samorga organizer for my never full but this one has that um sleeve or a compartment for a laptop or a macbook so it doesn't really fit it's what too wide for the bag so when i tried this one this is what it looks like it has a middle compartment i don't have it right now uh this one fits i was able to use this um organizer for this bag so a little push here and there and it fits fits like that here you go so i was able to put my um macbook pro with my camera my phone all my electronics my bose headset it all fits in here i have no problem um bringing this bag like yeah it can get heavy bit because i pack it with all my electronic stuff but if you're not really bringing laptop and all the gadgets it's not it's not that heavy since when i got this bag i didn't really like spray anything on it like a protectant spray so it got some dirt on it like when we were traveling the dirt in there but other than that it looks good and also i brought this with me while <laughs> traveling to protect my bag i even used this one with my neverfull gm when traveling as well like when yeah we went to the philippines i used my neverfull gm and i used this one as well this is a reusable bag that i get from sierra trading post you can get one of these at marshall's tj maxx home goods for like two dollars i think and then i fold it like this and i put it inside my bag just like that and then i stick it in there this bag i use it as a hand carry and it can fit under the seat you don't need to put it overhead so i put it like this and stick it under <laughs> the chair and the same thing i did with my never fold so it looks like that I, I'll carry it like this or I'll carry it like like this way and it's protected it's not going to be dirty and then when we arrive I'll just remove it and fold it again and put it inside that's how I did my traveling I use this when we went on a cruise last October and so far I don't see any wear and tear only a dirt mark on this side where did i see it yeah it's a like a dirt in here but other than that i don't see any any dirt because you know the color is beige so light color if there's other choices i would get in a darker color 
but at the website that time it was only the blue and the slate but i already have those in the medium and the mini size so i didn't get that overall i am happy with this purchase if you're going to ask me if i'm going to use this for work if my work needed me to bring a laptop if i need more stuff to put in a bag but my work it doesn't re require that i just go to my locker and change and this bag would not fit in my locker as well so i wouldn't use this for my work for those people who bring a lot lot of stuff with them this is a good work bag and also for students who always carry a lot so this is one good bag that can fit a lot of your essentials and more i would say for traveling yes very much but probably on my next travel travel i will not bring my laptop because i never used it i realized that i never used my laptop when i'm traveling so when i went to the philippines i didn't bring it uh but when i went to europe i did bring it and i didn't really use it so it's like it's so heavy with the gadgets and i didn't even use it so lesson learned so yeah i would use this for travel as a hand carry it's a good size to fit under the airplane seat i don't have any issues with this what i would wear for work is probably the medium toe as you can see a quick comparison the size difference between these two yep even this bag is big for my work one time i used this for work and then we my co-workers and i went out for like a drink and i was carrying this like it looks so big and they're all wearing cross bodies like tracy why your bag is so big <laughs> but anyway eh, i like this i like this size uh this one is for more work everyday use and this one is for travel so overall my thoughts on this bag I like it. I like it especially for traveling because it can fit a lot. You can use this also when you're like going like an overnight stay with your clothes, uh, your essentials, your skincare. It can all fit in here. On an overnight trip, I usually bring my Tory Burch Ella tote bag, but that one has not, no zipper closure. So since I have this, I've been using this for like overnight travel. It can fit everything like my clothes for the next day, shoes, and my essential. And I'll just bring a crossbody bag if I want to go outside. Yeah, this is a good travel bag for me. Anything negative with this bag? I don't see anything negative on this bag. That's it guys for our video for today. The Bart Jacobs tote bag in the large size. I hope I was able to deliver <laughs> so if you have uh, questions about this bag that i forgot to mention feel free to write on the comment down below thank you for watching guys bye